In this video, you will see Kelly and Maria working on the following problem. A factory produces golf balls at a rate of 120t squared minus 20t plus 950 balls per week. How many balls were produced from the beginning of week 2 to the end of week 4? As they work, consider the obstacles they encounter and think about how you might solve the problem. Can we just add up the amounts from week 2, week 3, and week 4? I think so. 120t squared. So when we plug in 2, we get 1,390. When you plug in three, 1,970, 2,790. Okay. And then so when we add them all up. Add all those up, we get 6,150. So would we just have that many golf balls, balls by the end of the week? Or I wonder if you could also, like instead of calculating for t equals two, t equals three, and t equals four, what if we just, do you mind if I, mm -hmm. would it make sense to do, um, like if we say our formula is g of t, Okay. would it make sense to just do g of 4 minus g of 2 because oh. you're taking like how many you ended up with and subtracting right. your starting? So would, I guess, would we get the same answer? Like shouldn't well, we no, get the same we answer? Do g of 4 minus g of 2. So it would be... The 2790 minus the 1390. Okay. So then which one makes sense to do? I don't know. Ooh. You know what? What? This is a rate. Okay. So I don't think that's the formula that we're supposed to use. Okay. So how, how can we change it then, I guess? What do we do? You know, I wonder if we did like a definite integral from 2 to 4. Okay. Of g of t? Yeah. Okay. So how do we do this? So this is kind of like taking the Riemann sum, right? Mm-hmm. So... Should we sketch it out? Yes. Yeah. So let's just pretend that our graph looks like this. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So you're going from those two. So do you want to do left hand? Yeah. So we have two. Two we already know. We got 1,390. Okay. And then for 2.5 point. Oh, wait. We're doing the value of 2 times 0. 0.5, though. Oh. Because our change in weeks is 0. 0.5. So you have to put that over 0. 0.5. Okay. And then... For 2.5, it would be 1,650 over 0.5 again. Three weeks. And then we end up that one, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 So what is that? Again? Oh, boy. Yeah. So we get 14,720. 14,000? 14, yeah. That doesn't okay. sound right. It's a lot of golf balls. But it's very different from our... Um, 6,000? Yeah. Well, before. I guess we weren't thinking about Riemann sums before, so maybe that's why, because we were just adding values at each point. Right. Um, I guess there was just a better way to approximate this. So do you think it's 14,000? I mean, I know if, if we used, like, more intervals, it would be a better approximation. Right. So we could do 100, but I'm not calculating 100 <laughs> intervals. Um, I don't know. So yeah, I don't, I don't really know any easier way yeah. to get a better approximation. I wish there was a better way without having to do 100. Yeah. Three miles sum to feel confident in your answer. In this video, Kelly and Maria tried using a Riemann sum to approximate the value of the definite integral. They knew that they could make their answer more precise by dividing the time into smaller intervals, but they didn't want to carry out all of the computations. We'll explore a more efficient way to compute the value of a definite integral in upcoming videos.